yeah. what's up everybody welcome back to another episode of the pg talk um 18th episode we're almost at 20 two episodes yes. away from 20 um yesterday i uh went to bed pretty late i think i went to bed at like midnight and the reason being is because i got a new video game <laughs> Oh yeah, you told me you told me last night when you got it, and I couldn't mm-hmm. believe the price you got it for. So I got uh, so you saw us play FIFA 19 on a uh, previous episode, yeah. And I just recently yesterday got FIFA 22. Yeah. So it's a, a three year gap or a three year improvement from FIFA 19 to 22. And that one just came out recently, right? It's yeah. It's not like in a couple months, 23 is gonna come out. Yeah, it came out, out in the fall. Mm-hmm, it came out in October, I think. There you go. So, yeah. See, so it's a good time. Yeah, but I got it at GameStop in the mall, and I got it. So normally, a new game is around like sixty dollars. I got it for thirty dollars, which is a steal. He literally got it fifty percent off. The price. It's crazy because any game you buy, the release price is always fifty nine ninety nine. So the fact that he got it for thirty dollars is pretty insane especially because it's a new game yeah and i was playing it yesterday and i mean at the end of the day it's a soccer game like regardless it's kind of the same format yeah but the mechanics and everything is so different like the yeah. it's more you have to be more accurate on your passes and your sh- shots unlike fifa 19 like you just point your analog stick at a certain side right. or and angle. it like automatically kind of knows who you're trying to go for yeah, yeah yeah like you have to it's it's so much better but isn't it weird that in, in like when those games come out, you're always like, oh, dude, this feels so good. But then the new one comes out and you're like, dude, that last one was so clunky. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's <laughs> always like that. It's because I feel like the older versions of FIFA are yeah. like move faster. You know what I mean? Like the players are like unrealistically fast. Mm. And, and these, no? Yeah. And these are, it's like, dude, shoot. But like in reality, like if you were in an actual game, you'd have to like position yourself to shoot. And that's how this game is. So you can't just shoot off of any random position. You could, but obviously but it, it would pretty much mimic what would happen in real life. If you're not positioned correctly, the ball's not going to go where you want it to. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So what I plan on doing for my next uh, gaming channel video is going to be a FIFA video. And I think I want to do a Ultimate Team series. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so basically what an Ultimate Team is, basically you you start your team from scratch and then you open packs to get better char- better players to put on your team. And it just keeps on going on from there until, like, I think there's seasons, too, and, like, divisions that you play in. Mm. But that's probably going to be my next gaming channel video. And it's I'm excited to do it because I'm going to do a lot more editing on it and, like, more just, like, more YouTube type of editing. Yeah, yeah. Like, short like More video. like like a FIFA video type of editing yeah, for it. Yeah, like some beat drops and all that stuff kind of like what we had on our video when you scored that banger yeah yeah but like times 10 (laughs) yeah yeah dude i'm excited for because i enjoy your your um gaming content i have three minecraft videos and i watched every single second of all three of those videos (laughs) they're honestly really fun to make but the editing part i mean i i feel like the editing part would have been a lot harder for me if i still had my old laptop Mm-hmm. But now since I have the Mac, I feel like it just moves like smoothly, especially like because I mean, I've only edited on the Mac and I've used DaVinci because you introduced me to it. Right. And I mean, it's probably the best one I could use for free. Yeah. It, or, or even like probably better than any ones I could. Yeah. Well, I heard that on on and this is part of today's topic, but I heard that on your your Apple computer that Final Cut Pro is supposedly the best version more apple friendly yeah so final cut pro is like the best of the best but i think that there's a subscription that you have to pay for it i think there might be a free version exactly like da vinci because you can pay for da vinci too and it unlocks a whole bunch of other stuff but unless you're making a feature film or something crazy like that you really don't need it yeah there's no reason to pay because i mean anything that i do now on editing it's like some i don't really need to do anything else no because, I mean, I'm not making any money out of it. Why right. am I going to pay for something that... And if you're not going to use those features that you unlock by paying for it... There's, there's no, no reason, reason to do it, yeah. yeah. But but I don't know. I So, I'm on Team Apple. Um, I've transitioned... Okay, hold on, hold on. Before, uh, we didn't really say what we're doing. So, okay, okay, go ahead. what we're doing today is more like of a versus type of battle. And for me, this is inspired by a podcast called Taste Buds. So, if you guys don't know what it is, um, I'll give a brief explanation. But definitely check it out. Um, 
It's a free promo for them, I guess. But <laughs> even though like they need it, <laughs> like they fucking need it. <laughs> yeah. But if you guys know what the impractical impractical jokers are, um, one one of the the stars, um, Sal Sal Volcano, is a a guest on it. Well, he's like the the co host, and he's got another guy named uh, Joe DeRosa, and they're both comedians, right? They both they both do stand up comedy, and essentially the whole premise of the show is that. One, one, well, it's all food related. That's why it's called taste buds. So it'd be like, I am arguing Skittles and you're going to argue like M&M's or something closely related. M&M's all the way. For like the best one, right? And, uh, but like, it's, we're not, we're doing similar, but they go like, they have audience engagement and then they, they check Twitter posts to see one at the end. And Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. They have this whole, like a whole setup, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome. So this one's kind of inspired by that. And. So I use I've always used like a HP like a like Windows a Microsoft, software yeah. Microsoft stuff, and Weddle recently got um, an Apple computer, uh, MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro, yeah, yeah. So and I've used it a little bit for for editing the 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 promo vid we that we did, and I mean it was nice because the the program worked smoothly. But I would have had a much fun, more fun time doing it on a Windows that works. Because mine doesn't really handle editing that well. Is that because just the features on the Windows you like better than Apple? Because, I mean, you haven't really had Apple. Because So I, I had uh, an Asus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Asus. Asus yeah. uh, laptop Asus. before this. Asus. But I had it for like three and a half years and it went to junk. It doesn't... Well, it updates randomly and it just stops me at whatever i'm doing so i i got a new laptop the macbook pro but before like i was all for microsoft and i thought like apple was like a type of product or macbooks were a type of product where you have to like download an app for anything and in a way it's kind of like that but i think it works so much smoother than microsoft just because i feel like microsoft is more of a programming type of uh computer yeah, which it it kind of goes into my 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 defense for it because you can do way more way more on a on one of these computers on a Windows than you can on a Mac. As far as what? As far as like anything, it's way more customizable. You you can get like like different software that does different things. You can like literally adjust to how you want, you know. And Macs are good for going from Mac to Mac or Apple product to Apple product. You know what I mean? Like that's really where it excels. Obviously, because it all comes from the same. But what, like at school, what's like the main thing that you gets used over there? Well, I guess in Microsoft, yeah. Right, right. At, well, not in, hold on, hold on. Okay, good. <laughs> at any other business, what gets used? Microsoft because it's cheaper. Because it's the superior product. But that's do you why. think they'd use Apple if it was le- a little less no, expensive? Because it's clunky. No, because Apple. Have is you tried to use Excel? Or like Word or anything. Yeah, on. it's easy. No. Yeah, you can't do half the stuff you can. On what one you can of these. do literally everything that you can do on that. Yeah, with like you, you have to download something to make it the the Windows version. Wait, why would you want to? Make, what's the difference between the Windows version and the Mac version? Because you can't do a lot of the controls that you can. Like what? <laughs> I don't know the top <laughs> <Explanations>. of my head. <laughs> I I don't know. I just know last semester I took a computer class. And we went, it was a Microsoft class. We did a bunch of Microsoft stuff and we did a bunch of stuff on access. Mm-hmm. And I know the kids who had MacBooks didn't use their MacBooks because they got really frustrated. So instead, they just used the computer that was there, which was Windows. Which it, it does make sense because um, before when I started college, I, um, I would sometimes ask Gabby to use her, her MacBook. She had, right. she, but okay. it wouldn't work with like certain features mm. that the Microsoft one mm. did. But also with that, Microsoft is more prone for viruses and everything rather than Well, Apple. yeah, if you don't get the the proper like virus protections on it. Yeah, so you have to like stay up to date with every single thing because well, Micro- Yeah, it's the same thing with one of those. If you don't get it updated correctly or like but on this, time and this stuff. one literally it's just like it needs an update, so you update it. That one, you have to like look at it and like refresh it or maybe the virus protection software that you got is like, like out of date or is expired. So you have to get yeah. a new one. Well, I'm pretty sure you should have a virus protection on your Mac anyway. Yeah, it's I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's way different from from what uh, Microsoft one would have. 
How so? Wouldn't it be the same thing? Well, because when I, so for example, when I had my old laptop, every time it would tell me to update it, so I'd update it, but it takes like freaking three hours to Okay, do. but also that's just that one laptop because that laptop sucked because I have an update pending on my computer and I, I've updated a couple of times when it, like when I go to restart it or something and it'll say like update and shut down or update and restart. And how many times have you done that? A couple of times. How, how long have you had the laptop? Like a year. <laughs> and you restart, have to, had to restart it like how many times? Like 20? Well, n- not restart it just because, just but like it's it's good to like restart it every now and then or just turn it off when you're not using it. And the option will come up and I'll just update it. But it takes like literally no more than five minutes. What? Then what the heck is the update for? I don't know. Probably just some small updates that they release. I don't really go in the system and check it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like before, so one thing I really like about the MacBook is the keypad. Because I... So I, for my old lap, when I went from my old laptop to this one, my old laptop had a small keypad and you know how they always have like the bottom, you have the right click and the left click here. You could literally like click anywhere and it's a right click. And if you want to left click, you just two fingers and you double click and that's a left Mm -hmm. click, which I think is a lot smoother to do because you could move and maneuver way faster if you're doing anything Mm -hmm. rather than going all the way down to click the bottom right for right click to like uh, copy and paste something. This one, you just move, double click. Hold on. I'm about, to, I'm about to try something. You move, double click. Because if you go at the very far left. What did go, it, what, what just happened? No, go, go on the what, very. What just happened? Go on the very I far left. I double clicked. What just happened? But you clicked tell, on the, tell the audience what just happened. Okay, he clicked on the right side of his mouse and it double clicked. It right clicked on his right side. No, how did I click it? With your fingers? Yeah, but how many fingers? Okay, do the same thing on the left side. Okay. What just happened? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Argument invalid, bro. <laughs> I was going to say, I know I've done that on this one before. <laughs> I guess that only applies to my old laptop in this one. Cause I that's told a, you, dude. Well, because that's a newer version. That your laptop is a newer version of any Honestly, other- I, I don't remember doing that on previous ones because I don't think I tried. But So I, I, couldn't, I don't know about that one. But I know it, that's been a thing ever since I got that computer last year. Yeah. So I think your knowledge is outdated. My knowledge is pretty outdated. Yeah. But it was nice to have that switch instead of having to always go to the bottom and right click something. Yeah, it is nice. And, and then, honestly, I don't think a lot of people know about that. You think so? Yeah. Well, but at I the didn't, same time, I didn't who, freaking who know really about uses that. the mouse pad? I do a lot, actually. Mm. Sometimes, so I, I have a mouse that connects to it uh, because it's a lot easier for editing. But sometimes when I edit on DaVinci and I like, spe- especially when I'm doing gaming videos, when I have to cut something. At the same spot with the mouse, you have to be very precise. On the mouse pad, you just maneuver, you just move it to the right, and it automatically clicks into what you cut at the top. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. But whenever I'm doing like vlog channel videos, I use the mouse because it's easier and faster to move and like right click and everything. Yeah, yeah, because I normally use the mouse mm-hmm. on my computer. But, but like this mouse pad is two times bigger than what yours is. Okay. Also, let's talk price point. Oh yeah, <laughs> which is I feel like is a major fall for for your defense against Apple. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, <laughs> it's expensive, and for what you're getting, you can get the same thing for. No, I disagree. Yes, you can get the same thing. I disagree for less the price if you buy if you buy it as a Windows. Okay, so around oh, so how how much was your i think it was like a grand a grand i think so so mine was like two and a half grand okay so two and a half grand lets me run davinci smooth with having like 10 tabs open right and watch youtube videos while doing it and the right. fan is barely running right when yours okay but this one isn't configured to do that stuff exactly okay right but that's just the type that i got if i were to pay an extra 500 bucks but the so, gaming one that I originally got, guess what? It runs everything smoothly, just like yours does. So and you have, so you have to buy a whole separate laptop for to edit. When I can just if, do if it I all wanted online. that too, but you didn't buy that one specifically for editing. It just so happens that it can handle Who it. Who says I didn't? 
Bro, that's cap. You know that's cap. <laughs> Since I didn't. That's cap. You didn't know I had a YouTube channel until like a month after. Well, yeah, because you're being sneaky as fuck. That's why. <laughs> but you have to buy a whole separate laptop to edit when I can just edit on my laptop and do everything else that I need right, to do. Right, but see, the thing is you bought that one with, all right, I'm going to edit. I didn't buy this one with, with that going into it. I bought this one thinking just school. I'm like, all right, I can run like 100 tabs. And like play videos and listen to music all at the same time. Like it's way more than what I need for school. That's but, what I got it for, not for editing. But that's the thing. Like there's Microsoft has certain computers for certain things. Apple can just do it all. Like if you buy a MacBook Pro for like two years ago, it can still edit. And no, because if you stuff. just buy a better computer for like here, if I would have spent the extra 500 bucks for the the, the next level up or whatever... It would have been the same thing as that. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is the older versions of this can do the same thing or can do better than what, like, an older version of that can do. Like, it could still run the editing program Mm -hmm. and anything behind it. Rather than you needing to get a better computer, this has done that for, like, a long time. But what I'm saying, but it's not about better or not. If we're talking about versions, of an older version of the better computer can do the same thing. Yes, but... right. (laughs) <laughs> because my my computer isn't made to edit it's it's just not what it's for you know it, it, it whatever like Why processing not? power whatever it just the cpus are, I, don't, I don't really know this computer language but it's See, it, but, it can't but, handle it but what i'm trying to say i feel i've been trying to say the same thing for the past five minutes and i can't like say it <laughs> but like so so every <laughs> you Mac- run the crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give me some. <laughs> so every MacBook Pro or MacBook Air automatically comes with software that's able to edit. Do you Micros- know that for a fact? Yes. How? Because I, when I went to go buy the MacBook, they're telling me all the specs mm. of like every single one that was there. Like mm. the specs between obviously this one's going to be better than a MacBook Air. That's well, actually, the so the smaller I have, I think I have the 16 inch. The smaller ones, the 13 inch ones, are better for editing because mm. the fan is bigger, so it can cool it down a lot easier. Mm. And I think it's got like the M1 chip or something in it. Well, this one has it too, but I got the 16 inch because I like the bigger screen and it's right. better with. It, it is better. Yeah, big screen. I better. I didn't want to walk around with a small laptop. Yeah. Well, I mean it's it's nice. I mean my my laptop's a little smaller than yours. But, but it's it's still a decent size. Like the 13 inch was yeah, was dude. too small. Yeah, <laughs> like I was I put my hand on it and like literally my hand covered more than half of the keyboard. Oh no. Yeah, but they were telling me all the specs at all of them. Be like, because I asked them, I'm like, hey, like I'm looking to like do schoolwork on this, but I'm also making sure because I wanted to when I when I went to the, when we went to the store, I had already in mind of like starting my YouTube channel. Mm. Like Gabby and I had already talked a bit. She had bought she had bought me the um the tripod the tripod well no no i don't think she had because she didn't buy it for me until after we started the podcast okay but and i already had the laptop by then but i already had in mind of starting a youtube channel and he's like okay like well editing wise all of them can run the website or the any sort of editing website you want to use or like rendering type thing and run stuff in the background but these specific ones are better at it but they can all they can all do it and what I'm trying to say is that Microsoft has certain laptops for editing, but they can't all do it. Well, if you're talking about being able to do it versus doing it better, technically they can all do it. I guess technically, like, yeah. I mean, uh, okay, never mind. Uh, I hate using the, the technically thing. Technically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It makes me sound like a fucking nerd. They're because like a- there was one time where well, Pablo had brought up DaVinci on his laptop and it was so like buggy, like or not buggy. It was very laggy. Yeah, extremely laggy. It just didn't work at all. Like it, it's it's it just sucks. a headache to try and get into one frame and another to match it to what if it's actually showing. So I guess I kind of understand why you're not uploading on your YouTube channel, dude. It, it sucks and it's so frustrating. <laughs> like, it just infuriates me more than it's worth. Were were your all your four videos you edited like yeah. that? Oh, screw that, yeah. dude. And the podcast that that one or two episodes oh, that I did. How long it was did that like take that. you to do? Uh, a couple of days. A couple of days. <laughs> yeah, it took me a couple of days to do that. It takes me a couple of hours. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying, yeah. dude. <laughs> I gotta get a better laptop. For like, honestly, yeah. yeah. Eventually, you should probably invest in an editing laptop. Maybe like within this year, that'd be dope. 
because I mean, when I edit the podcast on my MacBook, I'm literally, I, I have my headphones in, I have YouTube playing like in the background and then literally as I go, I can make it to where I'm zoomed out enough on DaVinci to where it's playing all the way through and I'm cutting, I'm cutting the video and putting it in like, like a frame of me, a frame of you mm. while it's going, I'm like editing it and it, it's, it works smoothly like all the way. Do you know what I'm trying to? Say? I didn't even know you could do that. I know what I know what you're trying to say, but I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. So like, I hit play. It's playing, and like, let's say you start talking for a decent amount of time. I right. can obviously see your your audio clip of like when you start talking and when you stop talking. And then I kind of I list I cut it, and then as soon as like you start talking, I listen to it. And be like, okay, like this is a good good spot to like transition to, to transition frame. into you, and then I cut it at that, and then just drag it down to the to the main. Uh, media the media one oh. and i get it done in like max an hour or sorry max hour and a half nice nice yeah can't That's do that dope. on microsoft no <laughs> yes you can just not my specific <laughs> one. <laughs> but price range um obviously don't get a macbook unless you can afford it yeah but i feel like most companies get windows one it is a little cheaper but two it with the way it's set up, like the industries are set up, it just Windows works better. Like any office you go to, unless it's like a super, super bougie one and that uses MacBooks and they all have like the, the Mac monitors, you know, you, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Most places have a Dell. Cause not so- literally a Dell, but like. <laughs> <laughs> She's there just singing her depressing <laughs> ass songs. Because some places at the library have MacBooks. Or yeah, the- yeah. Yeah, the they desktop do. ones. Like some computer labs have them, which I don't know why, but they do. Like they're there. I don't know. I think it just depends on the budget of the company. Because honestly, Apple's expensive as fuck, yeah. and Apple's more known for their phones. Yeah, but they're doing really good stuff on like their MacBooks. Because which so the MacBook I got, um, it has only USB C ports, and that's like I have to buy adapters for. Literally, if I it, literally for this, I had to buy an adapter to plug in. So the adapter plugs into mm-hmm. the USB C, and then the USB plugs into that. And then literally, freaking a couple months after they release a new MacBook Pro that has like the it has the USB. It doesn't just have USB C. Yeah, it has one. U, I think it has two USB Cs. It's got the two USBs. It's nice. got the HDMI. Like for me, I have to buy an adapter for all of that. For all of it, yeah. yeah. But. I was telling myself, oh, I should have waited. But at the same time, when I got my MacBook, I got the the student discount for it. And if I would have waited, I would have paid a lot more money without that. And you wouldn't discount. have had the discount. Yeah. yeah, dude, it's 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 so much easier for that to get it with that discount. Yeah. So I'm I'm just using adapters, which is honestly it's not that bad. But don't buy adapters from Apple because they're way too expensive. One adapter yeah. that just like. Like this adapter that I have, I only got it because I, I got it the day I got the laptop. Yeah. And it was 20 bucks just for a freaking adapter that goes to USB-C to USB. Yeah. Dude, all Apple stuff is expensive. Yeah. So if you want an adapter for your MacBook Pro, go to Walmart or something and get it for like five bucks. Yeah. Or get the one that has one attachment and it has like five other attachments on the side. <laughs> well, I wasn't about getting that one for this. Oh, yeah. I mean, we for, bought for mine. We bought one uh, a while back when we didn't know how Audacity worked. Oh, facts. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I remember that. Yeah. But I, that USB-C thing is just, it's going to be a hard process transfer, like going into that, you know? Because right now, people are using just regular USBs. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, the new MacBook Pro doesn't have like all the USB-C things. Because if you look at Gabby's MacBook Pro, it's, it's a, the 13 inch and it's got the HDMI plug in mm-hmm. and it's got the regular USB plug ins. Like this one doesn't have that. I think it's the only year that they're, I think they did it for two years where they didn't have that. All they used was USB C, but mm-hmm. they went transitioned back and everybody was happy. Cause I mean, it's dumb to buy all those adapters, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. But people still do it. You know, I did it. You got people that are hardcore <laughs> Apple fans. It's just like I would never buy a Galaxy phone or an Android no, phone. No, never. No, sorry, Alex. No. Yeah, never as much as I like Windows, I'm not gonna get an Android. No, I Androids like my are phone. terrible, bro. You're gonna drop in all those batteries, are gonna fall out. <laughs> yeah. Well, any phone that I can just pop the back and look at the battery is a no go. 
Literally. You know, like, I feel, like, where are we in 2000? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, your phone's going to flip. I'm pretty sure they have some like that still. They do. Well, well, have you, they, it's a screen though. That's so, like, like, that's so dumb though, because the wear and tear on that, like, isn't there going to be an indentation in the screen? It's, it's already there. No, but like it, from opening it and closing it so much, there's going to be like a crease, not like a smooth crease, but like an actual crease. So when you have yeah, it probably. flat, there'll be like, like a probably. line. That's just, that's dumb. In my well, I, I saw it because uh, we saw it and it's like when you close it, like the screen kind of like comes out, like folds on itself a little bit. Oh. Like they did it. It's not like a hard like crease. It's like folds itself. But when you open it up, like it works. Yeah. I don't know how they did it. It's the weirdest thing, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm never going to go to Android though, so I'm not worried about it. Same. Yeah. But I like on, my Apple. On my old laptop, I had downloaded Minecraft onto it and <laughs> I had tried playing it, dude. It was so like botchy. Yeah, I bet. It was so laggy. I was moving around. And I was trying to play Minecraft on the freaking with the mouse pad. And like clicking and clicking, I'm like, dude, this is ridiculous. Yeah, dude, not the mouse. You have you have to have an actual mouse uh -huh. to play Minecraft because yeah. you're using the mouse pad. No, no bueno. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be bad. You know, you, it's you're gonna be half the time just like scrolling like this because you can't just like quickly like like scroll your mouse over. Mm. You got to do like to pick up your finger and restart on this side and scroll to this side and do the same thing over and over again. Yeah, but I don't know. I have ever since I bought the Mac, I've been full on the side of well not full i would say i'm 80 percent mac just because before i had windows and if you just have a good windows computer i think you're you're set but i think apple is better but it's expensive as hell <laughs> yeah i don't know i i i honestly do prefer the windows right now but who knows maybe one day i'll be like you know what let me try a, a mac and see because what happens. like eventually one day i want to have a a setup to where I have like dual screens mm -hmm. and I mean, I'm not going to get dual screens of Apple. Obviously it's just because it works yeah, better. It'll cost you like a, a down payment to a house. Yeah. <laughs> just <with> two freaking <laughs> screens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause I think like a Microsoft screen, first of all, it's better just because it's thinner on the ends yeah. instead of Apple. It's got like the w really white border. The bottom sp specifically. Yeah, yeah. It fits better with Microsoft because if you're switching, over to like a game or something the there's not that much of a border on it so it kind of looks like it's more attached yeah yeah for sure yeah but like i mean obviously apple doesn't well does apple make like a uh, pc what do you call them the not the brain of it but <laughs> you talking about like desktop monitors yeah the, instead of like a laptop yeah like but, where it's got like the tower yeah do they make towers i don't think so Okay, see, that's the thing, too. Like, for gaming, those are the best. Mm, do they? If they do, it's it's probably, like, very small. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They probably do. There's no way they don't. They they probably do. They probably cost, like, 10K. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally, like, a, a price of a car. Well, you could build your own for, like, probably 2K. Oh, uh, yeah. 2K. 2, 2K. 2K. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what where I was going with that. It remind oh Y two K from Chris Jericho. What? That was his thing. Y two K. Really? I don't yeah. remember that. Yeah. Whenever I hear two K, like like when oh it's like uh like right now it's two K twenty two. You know. No one but, says that. I know, but <laughs> no one says that. I know, that. I know. But when we were in high school, they did. It was like oh it's like two K eighteen. Bro, nobody said that except for like the game like two K. Is that what they were talking about? Oh, you're talking about like the the basketball game. Yeah. Whenever I hear of 2K, I think of uh, Y2K. I've never heard anybody say, "Oh, welcome to your 2K19." No, okay, nobody <laughs> says that, but it's like a, you know what I'm saying? You I know, know what I'm saying? Come on. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, I think editing on the MacBook is a lot smoother. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> well, I think that's uh, that that'll conclude the episode. Mm -hmm. I honestly, it all just depends on what, what you like. I like MacBook. I mean, cap. Nope. There you go. Don't you clip it. it. Don't you clip it. Right here. <laughs> I'm going to uh, replay it like five times. <laughs> I prefer Windows over MacBook. I haven't really used a MacBook though, but I prefer, I definitely feel like I prefer Windows. I like them both. I'm just a little biased because I have a MacBook. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, on that note, that was the 18th episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you guys next time. Like, Thank you guys for watching. A, like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want, like Apple or Microsoft. Peace. Thank you.